Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to my channel if you're new here. So today we're going to do Tinkerbell's bedroom tour. She has her main bed in the living room which she actually sleeps in at night and then she has under the stairs like a Harry Potter little house and then she has like water in there and another mat and stuff. But this is her main bedroom and she usually hangs out here for food and after walks when she's drying off or she's like cleaning her paws or the maintenance. So that's what really this bedroom is for. But we're going to give you a tour of it anyway, aren't we Tinker? Tinker! aren't we baby? So she just turned two years old on September the 28th, didn't you? She's got a lot of presents, here's a picture of all her presents. A few of her presents are featured in this room as well. And if you stay till the end of this video we'll do a few tricks to show you an updated of what she can do now. Should we get into the video then? Yeah? Okay, without talking any much more, let's just get into the video. So here is her door, it leads from the kitchen and so she's right there near us. And here is the inside. So her wall colours are like a mint green, if we lead over here we have some lights, it's quite cute and cosy, it says cafe on it. And then we have just some keys to go out to the back door and when we take our walks this is the door we come from. Then as you can see we have two big door windows here, I'm not going to show you too much of the garden because I don't really want to do that. But this is how we lead her off to walks. Now here is her mat and this is where we call black mat, even though it's not quite black, it used to be black, we used to have a different mat there. And when we say corner, she always goes into this corner. This is where we clean her paws. So this is the towel that we clean her paws in so that she's clean when she comes into the house. These are the shoes we put on if we take her out to go toilet. And then here are our food bowls. We got this mat for her birthday, her second birthday. And then her two bowls in there, they're just metal ones. This one's for water and this one's for food. Here is her main towel. This is not her bed. This is just what she lays on to dry off if she's been in the water or if she wants to lay down. And then these are all her teddy toys. So we have a purple rhino that she got for her second birthday. She's a donut. She has a dog puppy toy that we got her for Christmas and this is what we call her baby and this is a pig. And this was her very first toy when she was born. She's had a lot but she kind of tore them apart so these are the ones that are left standing. As you can see there's this brown rug here and there are multiple all underneath this towel so it's more comfy. Leading on we have her trusted drawers and these were actually previously in my old bedroom before I remade that and then on top usually is her food but there's kind of a bunch of food left over from Christmas. The things that are left on here though is her retractable lead and her tin of biscuits. She absolutely loves these and these are just quick treats to give her. And this is a cup that we use to grab her food from because on the side of here is her massive food bag. So it's shut with crocodile clips and then we use the cup to reach down to the bottom to get a cup full of food and we usually do about two cups of food just so that we don't have to put our hands down there. This chair next to it is basically just for us to sit down if we're feeding her or if we're tying our laces for a walk or something like that. Now I'm going to go into each of the drawers. See first drawer. This is just a basket full of essentials. Her brush, one is the soft side, one is the actual combing side. We have a bunch of dog bags. We have another comb down here which is more rough so we don't really use that much. Another brush down there. We have some conga toys. Her old baby collars, that's a pink one that she grew out of and her very puppy one. Look how small her neck used to be oh my god doesn't even fit around my hand there is also a glove to get off hairs from her body like the stray ones we have some dog toothpaste down there lots of little bits really now this used to be full this was full of little packets of like wet food for her dinner so the ones we do have left this one is chicken and carrots and gravy this is beef and potatoes and gravy and this is lamb and carrots and gravy which i did give her a packet of this last night we usually put a cup full of food in her bowl then a packet of that and then another cup of dry food on top so that she has her dry food as well mixed in down here are her flea tablets and then behind here we have a few bits we have some kitchen towel just to clean off things we have a bell to call her from the garden we have a bag to carry around treats in and then we also have a jar of peanut butter because she absolutely loves this and sometimes we put tablets mixed in with this so that she actually eats them because she doesn't like taking tablets that's our first drawer done and now we're going to go into the second drawer. Here we have all her body straps, her leads, her collars, everything needed for a walk or a harness or strapping her into the car, literally everything. Some that she's even grown out of like the pink one. We have some treats here that she got for Christmas. These are pig's ears and it's actually disgusting. They literally are ears. We have a ball thrower here for walks. This is a weigher. We put the cups of dry food in there and we usually give her 150 of food for it. These are a bunch of treats and these are wet wipes. We have some smackers. 
rodeos and jumbones. In this tin, we have some mini chew bones, some dental sticks, and some more rodeos. And then back here, we have a bunch more dental sticks. She has one a day in the evening. Now, into the last drawer. First, we have a bandana that we like to put around her neck. She doesn't really like it, but it's just cute to get photos and see her with a bandana around. We have a bunch more towels to replace the ones that are already on her floor to wash her when she's wet from rivers or to put in the car or just to clean her or to make a comfier floor, you know, whatever. There's another bandana there, and then this is a blanket that she used to have when she was younger. She kind of uses it sometimes times now but not all the time really so these are funny these are women underwear for periods but we use it for her when she's on heat it works perfectly we just stick a hole and put her tail through it's because she does leak everywhere and that's the thing with having dogs that aren't spaded so it's actually like a good life hack and she doesn't actually mind when they're on she actually quite likes them here we have some dog shampoo for when she has baths and this we used when she was younger this is bitter apple spray and you put this on things that dogs will chew and they just don't like the taste of bitter apple and so they won't chew that thing anymore she doesn't chew anything anymore because she's older but we did use that when she was younger this is her water bottle and carrier case for when we go on big walks and she needs water you basically fill up the bottle with water and then you let the bottle up and then fill up the container this is just a rack of coats for walks and then this wall's not meant it's actually like like wood tiles it's really cute especially for photos it's cream and then we have this live love laugh sign on it and that is little missy's bedroom thank you guys so much for watching this room tour we're gonna show you a few tricks now aren't we tinker i hope you did like her room tour here is what her bed in the living room looks like and then her bowl under the stairs so inside the house so she doesn't just sleep here she does not sleep on this towel at all she has her own bed we're gonna go get some treats and i'll show you what i mean by corner so tinker corner go on corner go on corner corner oh good girl see and that's also black mat so they both mean the same thing for her first we're going to show you her catching skills so we're going to throw a treat good girl babe second one good girl okay tinker Lay down. Good girl. God, mess up. Mess up that then. Head down. Head down. Good girl. Black mat. Black mat. Black mat. Good girl. Paw. That's second paw. Thank you, babe. Good girl. Jump. Good girl. Go back. Black mat. Good girl. Jump. Good girl. Good girl. Go back. Back. <laughs> and high paw. Hi, Paul. Oh, good girl, babe. Good girl. Black mat. Black mat. Black mat. Black mat, Tinker. Now we're going to rest it on her nose. Stay. Stay. She always knows what I'm doing with this one. Head down. Head. Stay. Stay. Go. Good girl. Cool tip. Now we're going to put them on her paws. Stay. Stay. Stay, good girl. Stay. Go. Pretty much shown everything now, haven't we? So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this, all her tricks, and this is her bedroom, and I've shown you everything now, so it's a pretty much an update on her life. She's now two, and she's so well behaved. If you did enjoy this video, then can we give a big thumbs up and a comment down below what kind of dog or pet you have or if you don't have any pets subscribe if you have not subscribed already this is actually my first video of 2019 how crazy is that but i hope you guys did have a happy new year i love you guys so very much all my social medias are in the description box below and i will see you in my next video bye